shelter and friend. How we need your touch again. Holy Spirit, rain down. <coughs> rain down. Let your power fall. Let your voice be heard. Come and change our hearts as we stand on your word. Holy Spirit, rain down. Holy Spirit, rain down. Let your power fall, let your voice be heard. <coughs> Come and change our hearts as we stand on your word. Holy Spirit, bring down. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I call upon the comfort and friend this morning. We need a touch from the comforter this morning. Ah, Jesus, we give you praise. We give you glory. And we say this morning, rain down. Holy Spirit, rain down. Let your power fall. Let your voice be heard. Change our hearts, O oh God. Change the states of our hearts as we stand on your word. Holy Spirit, the leader of all truth, I ask you this morning, to rain down on us hallelujah Jesus for everything that we have said for everything that we have done for everything almighty God that we we mighty God have partaken in that is not of you this morning we ask for your forgiveness we come before you this morning and we say cleanse us with this up this morning father Lord, we desire to connect with you 100%. Nothing missing, nothing broken. And so, Father God, this morning we ask for a washing, a cleansing, a renewing, a fresh. Thank you, mighty God, that you are faithful to forgive us of every form of unrighteousness. And so, Father God, with an atmosphere of cleanliness, we ask that you will rain on us this morning. Rain on us like never before. Rain on us, O oh God, your joy that produces strength. Rain on us, O oh God, the peace that passes all understanding. Rain on us, O oh Father God, the undiluted comfort that comes from your righteous right hand we give you praise we give you glory we give you thanks for this morning take my tongue and teach me exactly what i need to say in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i pray amen good morning everyone good morning welcome to the fourth watch hour my name is marcia wade i am sitting in um, the gap for Pastor Ron Wade, who is healing nicely to God be the glory. He is healing nicely. And we give God thanks for that. Hallelujah. And he's also resting. 
Yes, and we give God thanks for that as well. I am really anticipating and looking forward to what God will do when Pastor Wade comes back because I know he's having his Mount Sinai moments. And so I know we will be better off. All of us will be better off for this break. Hallelujah. This morning I am sad in my spirit. After I finished devote the I finish um what I would what I sense I the Lord wanted me to do in devotion this morning. Remember to like and share please. I need to ensure that um take um, Instagram is seeing me properly. Alright, so okay right so as i was preparing finish i had finished preparing for the devotion this morning and i just saw a message on my phone i just glimpsed the first lines and because of what i saw on the first line of the message i went and i looked at it and guys when I saw the message, my the man who the Lord used in 2011 to save me went home to be with the Lord last night. And I have been I've been in tears ever since. In 2011, I was in a relationship that I shouldn't have been in. I wasn't a believer. And you know when you are in a relationship with someone that is overly obsessive, it's like the person wants to be in your presence every day, every minute, every hour. You can't eat, you can't sleep, you can't breathe. And I remember, not not 2011, it wasn't 2011, it was 2009, not 2011, 2009. Right, 2011 is a different time. So 2009, and I was crying out to God. I said, God, you must help me. Please, I'm asking you, Lord, to help me. No. As I said, I was, I was a boaty. I wasn't in church because I was being the boaty. And I remember crying out to God for help because I needed to get rid of this person out of my life. I said, God, if you help me to get this person out of my life, I will serve you. I said, God, send help. Send help this morning. Send a pastor. Send somebody. Send help. And let me tell you something. I don't know how people say um, God don't hear sinners prayer because I was a champion in the sin. I was a champion in the sin when I was crying out to God and God knew exactly what I would have done even after I said all of those things. And I went to a particular place and I said, because this person was so obsessive, want to be around you i want you and i was saying leave me alone leave me alone leave me alone and this person is saying that i'm not going to leave you alone or is 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 either um you come with me or you lose your life this was what the person was saying to me and i started getting afraid and i said you know what let me tell is let me call his relatives and tell his relatives what is happening in case but i was just praying out to god i was just calling on jesus and i said god help me and listen, I was standing up at a particular place on the phone. And this gentleman walked past me while I was on the phone. And the gentleman turned around and said, I'm up that phone. Guys, I had a flip phone at that time. And I flipped the phone closed. And the man started telling me about my life. 
the man started telling me about my life he just started telling me he said to me the lord sent me to you i was supposed to walk that way the lord says walk that way and when i walk that way the lord says see the lady here that has been calling out to me this is your assignment and listen to me that man took the phone and he start he took the phone from me and he said to me call the gentleman and i called the gentleman and guys he prayed one prayer one prayer that day and from that 2009 till 2014 now i have never physically encountered that person ever again i only got one more phone call from this person and the person and i said to the person don't you hear that you are to leave me alone and i have never heard or i've never seen this person ever again in my life it took one encounter i had an encounter for my first experience with a prophet i had an encounter with a prophet i've never experienced something like that before in my life i've never at one point in time he was taking me uh, so so i so he said he's going to take me take me to meet his wife and i was in the car and when the gentleman started revealing some things to me about me it, it felt like the woman at the well when the when the gentleman started revealing some things to me i felt like i would pull the door and jump out because i of the car because i have never ever experienced something like this in my life somebody was telling me about who i am what i am that's the first experience of deliverance when i met his wife and i got deliverance listen to me and the lord used him more than one time because I, I must tell you i'd never listen at all i never kept my promise to god at all and in 2011 2011 there he was again but this time this time was a different story this time i i made up my mind that i was going to stick stick to jesus and i have never turned back ever since never i have seen the hand of god the glory of god through this person i have experienced miracles through this person miracles god's mighty righteous right and operating through this person my faith went to the roof i mean i had a faith like no other during that time because of what i encountered what i saw with my eyes nobody tell me i was there i saw it i experienced it i hear the testimony i saw the, the results but as with everything things do you not know, change however we still kept in contact He was like an Elijah. He was very fearless. Bold. When I talk about bold. Yesterday I was talking about boldness for God. Very bold for God. Very bold. He wasn't afraid of anything. He wasn't afraid of anyone. Anywhere he went. He proclaimed the goodness of God. Everywhere. I, I know because I was there. I was there with him for a good little while. Up and down, up and down. And then life happens. So to hear that this morning, to hear that this morning, it was, was really, really a shock for me. was really a shock for me he just died suddenly
But God is faithful. So even now, Father, I put his family before you as we come together as a, a union, a unit. Lord, I put his family under your care. You said in your word, blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. I thank you for your hand of comfort that they will experience beyond measure family friends church family extended family sons daughters persons who have encountered your glory through this person father this morning touch deliver heal set free comfort father let your peace permeate through the airwaves to every single person mighty God who is associated in a small way and in a big way to this person father God even any person on this life this morning that is experiencing pain as a result of the loss of a, a loved one as a result of the loss loss whatever loss father just a while ago i saw a 16 year old jamaican committed suicide as a result of what happened at school and father even that family this morning the family at central village father we pray for comfort for those who have lost those who have not recovered from a loved one that was lost father god those who are having regrets this morning i pray for your peace upon them as your word said there is therefore now no condemnation for them that love you who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit so father every spirit of regret we bind it now in the mighty name of jesus we decree and declare that you spirit of regret we send you to the abyss the you spirit of condemnation upon every any person who have lost and is just trying to console themselves with what they could have done or not done and what they what they didn't do and so father god this morning we bind condemnation spirit in the name of jesus and we send it to the abyss and father god we receive your comfort we receive your joy we receive your peace we receive every good and perfect gift that you desire to give to us this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God, that we shall move forward with the great memories. Forgive for the wrong things that have happened and transition into a better place spiritually, emotionally, mentally, physically, financially and all the other socially father god in the mighty name of jesus christ we thank you this morning for hearing for hearing the hearts of your people for hearing the hearts seeing the tears mighty god you are a friend of a wounded heart and we thank you this morning for your undiluted love towards us. Great is your faithfulness, O oh God. Great is your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord, that it is so and it is done. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Kindly share for me, please. Um, as I said, my... Um, the phone that we normally would use for Facebook all of a sudden it came off the Facebook feed I have been trying from yesterday to get it back on it it's not get um, not being transferred to it so I end up have to to use my phone and from using my phone I am unable to share to the people that I normally share to so I'm asking uh, I think pastor would have shared in the ignite group I'm asking persons to share um, the, the Instagram post as well because persons who don't have Facebook get an opportunity to watch on Instagram 
God is very strategic. God is God is very very strategic, and it's so funny that this morning, as I said, it was after I prepared. After I prepared the devotion, I got the news. This is the devotion this morning. Listen to the listen to listen to the topic. Listen to the topic and tell me how God. God is really, 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 really um, intentional. This is the top topic. Transition requires a leaving or a leaving of someone or a ridding yourself of something. Transition requires a leaving of of someone or a reading yourself of something after I did this devotion this morning I got the news hallelujah 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 Jesus we thank you we thank you this morning we thank you for being so mindful of us. We thank you, Father God, for your nudging. We thank you, Father God, for unveiling mysteries to us. Because you are you are the all seeing all knowing God and because you see and because you know when you say to us transition requires a leaving of someone or a ridding yourself of something it's because you are taking us to another place another space in our lives not because you hate us not because you hate the someones but because not every direction in which we are going those someones can come with us and so father some persons this morning are going through some pains of a breakup in a relationship some pains of a leave been behind some family members some pains of even a death of us of a loved one some pains oh father god of have to saying some no's to their children or to our children some pains oh father god of of, of transitioning from one country to the other some pains of transitioning from one community to the, to the next some pains of leaving some friends behind some pains of after accepting a new job some pains of even losing a job and so whatever it is lord we thank you this morning for the transition the transition according to jeremiah 29 verse 11 which states for you O great and awesome god knows the plans you have for us plans to prosper us and not to harm us plans to give us hope and a future and so we are encouraged this morning knowing that because you are for us all good gifts are for us and so we thank you this morning that we can be reminded that in the transitioning you are going forward with us we thank you this morning for the strengthening we thank you lord for the breaking we thank you lord for the shaking and we thank you lord that our future 
our future is secured in you. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's like, um, as I was praying, this is what is, is very strong, has come up very strong in my spirit. Um, a relationship that has, has, has broken up, that has been causing extreme pain. And the 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 extreme pain is so burdened burdensome it's like a weight it's like a weight it's like a burden and you know what i am sensing that god is saying concerning this breakup and it's it's a male to a female it's like a male is who is I am feeling the pain for not a female it's a male my god a male this is what I'm sensing God is saying God is saying that when you pray and you ask God for purpose, when you pray and you ask God for change, when you pray and you ask God to, to like, to make the you come out of you, to become the best version of you so that he, God, can be glorified. Um, when you pray that you desire for purpose to be made manifest in you, what God is saying to you this morning is that some people, and even though these persons are so dear to your heart, this person is so dear to your heart and you really wish that it would have worked out, they can't come because they were not a part of his Jeremiah 29 verse 11. For you and so because of that something and it what i'm sensing is that it's a, like a little sympathy cause a, 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 a breaking away a breaking away and even the very fact that i'm speaking now please don't acknowledge yourself on the live please um i'm just speaking as i sense the lord i'm seeing like a band-aid being placed you know when you get a wound i'm seeing like a band-aid god is placing a band-aid upon your heart as a as a sign and sealing that he has covered this wound and it is being healed is healing your heart even the very fact that i'm speaking this morning concerning that very thing that it is it has even caused you not to be able to sleep properly because this thing is just on your mind why did this relationship had to break up god is saying i'm sensing god is saying you prayed and i have answered jesus you prayed you prayed and he saw your heart your genuine heart of walking in purpose of walking in the in in him walking in what he desires of you and out of that there had to be a parting hallelujah i'm trying to get the light there is a, a bright light in the the facebook feed i'm not sure if you are seeing it but i'm seeing like a bright well i'm over the light still but yes so that's what i'm sensing i'm sensing that for a male a male a male a male a, a, a pain in your heart as a result of a separation but god is faithful and anybody else who is going through that um just 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 hear the word of god um this morning hallelujah hallelujah we thank you lord for your assurance hallelujah we thank you lord for your assurance and this is what is 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 this is what comes next the quicker you accept 
and transition is the quicker you will see God unfolding hand in your situation. The quicker that you accept and transition is the quicker you will start seeing his hand manifest in the direction in which he is taking you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so, Father God, this morning, we pray for our nations. We pray for our nations according to Psalm 86 verse 9. All nations you have made will come and worship before you. O oh Lord, they will bring glory to your name. Father God, we thank you this morning that the nations represented on this live will come and worship you. We thank you, Father God, that because we are lights, they will see our light and will come and worship you. We thank you, Lord, that because you have brought kings to our light, kings such as prime ministers and ministers of government and counselors and mayors and, and, and bosses, oh God, men and women of stature in the society. We thank you, Lord, that because they are drawn to our light, they will come and worship you as a result of us. They will bring glory to your name in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Israel shall bring glory and honor to your name. Palestine shall bring glory and honor to your name. Iran shall bring glory and honor to your name. Mighty God Haiti shall bring glory and honor to your name. Jamaica shall bring glory and honor to your name. Canada shall bring glory and honor to your name. The United States of America shall bring glory and honor to your name. Which country do you represent this morning? Write it in the chat. They shall bring glory. They shall bring honor to your name. I live in Jamaica. Therefore, Jamaica shall bring glory and honor to your name. Jamaica is on my chest. See here, I wear it. I wear my nation because I am a nation changer. Jamaica shall bring glory and honor to the name of the Lord God Almighty. Colombia shall bring glory and honor to the name of Jesus. Grand Cayman shall bring glory and honor to the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The United States of America shall bring glory and honor to his name in the name of Jesus because we reside there we reside there and where we reside we bring it under the subjection and under the lordship of the great I am in the mighty name of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah they will fear the name of the Lord they will fear the name of the Lord. The nations will fear the name of the Lord according to Psalm 102 verse 15. Colombia will fear the name of the Lord. All the kings of the earth <clears throat> will revere the name of the Lord because of us. We live there. Let me make sure I put out my Jamaica chain. We live there. In the mighty name of Jesus, just as how Egypt was transformed as a result of Joseph living there. I thank you, Father God, that we live here. We live where we live, wherever in the world. And because of that, the nations will fear your name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. They will turn and be saved. Hallelujah, because you are God and there is no other. Hallelujah. Kings, prime ministers, ministers, counselors, uh, mayors, bosses of workplaces, principals, sorry, excuse me, managers, all the heads, all the kings, kings in a workplace, they shall turn and be saved because the Lord God Almighty is God and there is no other God according to Isaiah 45 verse 22. The sovereign Lord, 
will make righteousness and praise spring up before all nations i thank you this morning lord that according to isaiah 61 verse 11 b that you make righteousness and praise spring up before all nations almighty god jamaica shall spring up in righteousness and praise Colombia shall spring up in righteousness and praise. Canada shall spring up in righteousness and praise. United States of America shall spring up in righteousness and praise. Hallelujah. Haiti shall spring up in righteousness and praise. Puerto Rico shall spring up in righteousness and praise. Lord, I speak to every nation in every continent this morning. I speak to every nation and I decree and declare they shall spring up in continent and praise. Lord, we thank you that this broad Podcast will go viral in the mighty name of Jesus as these prayers go to the nations they shall spring up in righteousness right living law shall be changed rules and regulations change according to your will and according to your purpose because mighty God the fear and your fear and your honor is upon the leaders the lawmakers mighty God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we thank you oh father God that the heart of the king is in your hand and you are turning it and so because they are lawmakers judges yes Lord those who, 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 who are in the jurors father god we thank you that their heart is in your hand and they shall spring forth in righteousness and 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 praise in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth turning their verdicts to your will and to your purpose turning your verdicts oh god according to the commands that you have given unto to us in your word we speak just as our rules and regulations were changed on behalf of esther hallelujah as a result of esther standing in the gap for israel we speak that rules and laws and regulations shall be overruled and overturned because of us in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak to every king this morning. And I decree and declare. They shall rule from a place of servanthood. They shall rule from a place of humility. They shall rule from a place knowing that they were. We were, we are the ones that place them where there they are. And God is the one that has sanctioned. Hallelujah where they are so they will rule from a place of servanthood not from a place of greed not from a place of selfishness but from a place of selflessness in the mighty name of jesus they shall lead as servants they shall lead as servants they shall lead as servants we must benefit as a result of those who are operating as kings over us as the bible says and mandates that we are to obey the laws of the land i pray this morning mighty god that the kings that have been set up in the nations where we live they operate from your vantage point and as a result we are served from your vantage point in the mighty name of jesus we thank you father god there's nothing impossible for you because you did it to abimelech while he slept you visited him in a dream and so father god these leaders may be sleeping even now even if they fall asleep for a minute we thank you for visions encounters with you father and so as a result they change and turn repent turn so that they can be christ-like example in the mighty name of jesus father god even now as some have switched roles we have some elections coming up father god i thank you this morning that you will guard their hearts father we pray this morning that these leaders that are going to be chosen 
will lead, O oh God, with their country in mind and not their pockets. Will put the nation first because we live there. Hallelujah. Will put the nations first because we live there. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Nation over self. Nation over self. The good of the nation over self. We thank you, O oh Father God, that they will not be voted in as a result of who we favor. They will not be voted in as a result of our culture, how we were culture, our ancestor. This is their party, so we vote for that. They will be voted in because we are voting them in according to your mind and your will for the nations where we live. In the mighty name of Jesus. So we speak a blessing this morning over our leaders. Eternal Father, bless the lands on which we live. Guard them with your mighty hand. Keep them free from evil powers. And when I say land, I mean everything that is in the land. People natural resources and human resources and non non um and 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 our current possessions the things that we have hallelujah be our light through countless hours and we thank you that we are your representation of your light <clears throat> through our leaders great defender or to our leaders great defender grant true wisdom from above there is a wisdom that is from book there is a wisdom that is from experience but there is a true wisdom that can only come from God <clears throat> grant true wisdom <clears throat> to our leaders this morning from above let justice let truth <clears throat> excuse me because I was crying this morning it caused my sinus to be draining be ours forever Let justice, let truth be ours forever in the lands where we live, where we reside, where we are working, where God is sending us. God is just sending us for a temporary visit. So we live there for three days or we live there for a day and come back wherever we tread our feet. <coughs> I need that scripture. Sorry, guys. Wherever we tread our feet this morning. And I'm going to find that scripture. I love praying from the word. So let's go with that one. Wherever our feet tread. Wherever our feet tread. I have given you that's what Joshua 1 verse 3 says I have given you every place where you set your foot as I promised Moses so this is what the Lord has said to Joshua and because we carry God we carry the Holy Spirit we bring on the subjection everywhere that we tread so in the name of Jesus I thank you that we own every place that we go and so it is brought under subjection to the lordship of jesus christ because we visit there we live there we go there we shop there so we put in everything we have recreation there wherever we go we bring it under the subjection of the lordship of jesus christ of nazareth so we thank you father that it is so and this it is done 
in Jesus mighty name Amen we thank you Lord hallelujah 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 so so I'm going to be looking at this morning the first part of a two-part the transition requires a reading yourself of something and then we can look at leaving of someone Ay, Jesus all right I'm just gonna f I don't I, I'm just gonna flow with the leaving of someone hallelujah hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Hmm. I remember in 2021, 20, when my father passed, Saturday gone was six, three years that he passed. I remember when my father passed, I felt, I just knelt down. It was a few days after our anniversary. I think it was, yeah, it was the 16th. So it was six days after our anniversary. And um, Ron and I went to um, celebrate our anniversary. And I got the call in the early morning from my mother. I was saying to myself, what is, why is my mother calling me so early? Because it's like I knew something was happen had happened. And she said to me that she told me that my father my father had passed and guys I kid you not I, I knelt down in the middle of the room and I just started to worship <coughs> I don't know where that strength came from I had no clue I had no clue where that but that strength came from I need knelt down on the knees my knees and i just said god i thank you for my father i thank you for his life i thank you i thank you for the years i thank you i i just i was just worshiping god on my knees but i carried a pain i remember Rowan turning to me i, I think that that time this is what our fourth year of fourth watch up Rowan said to me marcia i know you're hurting but this is something that I, the Lord wants you to do. And he said to me, do fort watch. Do fort watch. And so I brave it out. So my father died, I think, the, the Tuesday. And I did, or the Wednesday. And I did fort watch the Friday. We didn't do fort watch the day after. Because I think we were, you know, I had to, we had to leave the hotel. We had to go to um to my house where my mother was and you know everybody was there and i felt a pain an indescribable pain i felt when i you know because my father as you step in the house my father would be there sitting down in the chair waiting for something i bring something where you bring you know when they get old you know they, so they, when they get a little older they they kind of um um, it's like they are children again where you bring and sometimes my father my father loves the big bag of cheese streaks the big fluffy um fluffy the, 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 the big and salty and bring cheese streaks to me you know those little things and when I when I saw the empty chair that was really 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 painful and I carried that pain through laughter I carried that pain through tears the song Jerusalem Jerusalem came out in that year and when they when the earth came with my father's urn Jerusalem was playing and guys because of that I went to weddings and I heard Jerusalem and I went right back to that pain I go to funerals, I hear Jerusalem. I go to weddings, I hear Jerusalem. It was all over the radio. I hear it, 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 I hear it. But guess what? 
in my hearing it God was helping me to transition God was helping me to heal in my doing church still ministering helping other people God was helping me to transition so even though I was feeling that pain that pain that I can't describe I was going through God was helping me through this transition because I occupied myself with him with the things of him helping other people praying for other people even hearing the song over and over again was a therapy was a healing for me and let me tell you I don't know when that pain lifted it just disappeared the pain just disappeared and Saturday marked three years I went I, I, I have this picture in my phone and I look at it and but that pain that I felt year one and a piece of year two was not there the memories of the great times were there the memories of the great times is what I have taken away from that and so God through his sovereignty has helped me to transition from that pain because of my occupying of in him and so I'm saying to somebody this morning who may be going through a similar pain as a result of losing someone a transitioning because of someone that has left however way they have left God God is waiting on you he knows he hears he sees he has the right things to say he has the right things to do he has the right persons to send to comfort you in what you are going through so that you can transition so that you can transition so some person i hear the number 13 i hear the number 13 and i'm sensing that somebody has been carrying something for 13 years it's like a, a, a woman bent over the woman bent over she was bent over for what 14 years or, or 12 years i don't remember but i'm hearing 13 years like you are carrying a burden for that long and today is the day of your healing today is the day for it thank you angela 18 years the woman was bent over for 18 years i'm talking i'm hearing number 13 though it's like because of this this loss in whatever way and this loss this loss this loss i was just saying in whatever way and i heard divorce i heard divorce this loss has caused a bending over for 13 years not 18 but 13 years but in the name of Jesus I say just as though John Peter and John said to the man at the gate temple beautiful silver and gold I do not have but I have the name of Jesus and I am saying to you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ rise up and walk I speak a walking I speak a leaping and I speak a praising God over you and over your life in the mighty name of Jesus I speak an activation 
in your life in the mighty name of Jesus where the, the, the years that the palmer worm, the conquer worm and the locusts have eaten the 13 years and even the years before this divorce and separation before this separation and divorce that the palmer worm has eaten I speak a restoration over your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I decree and I declare that you shall have joy that people will say I will make our oh comes you I will make you happy so just like how they ask the man at the gate temple beautiful excuse me where is this joy coming from who touched you who healed you I thank you Lord that this morning this morning joy unspeakable is released upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah and they will ask Hallelujah, Jesus, we praise your name. They will ask, who touched you? Who said something to you? Where did your joy come from? Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Rise up and transition. Hallelujah. I speak a season change over your life, over your life, over your life, over your life. A season change a season shift i speak acceleration in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth father god we thank you hallelujah hallelujah father we praise your name hallelujah hallelujah transition requires a leaving of someone reba most of the times it's not it's painful some friends all of a sudden you and them good all of a sudden everything all right with you and them and all of a sudden somebody just not in and not talking with you them stop call you you're not hearing from them and you're saying to yourself, God, what did I do? I didn't do anything. But they got, they had to. Not because they finished this season with you, mean they must go to the next season with you. And they're saying to you, you don't do me anything. You don't have to do them anything for them to go. It's just that their season. You have to understand the times and the season. And like the sons of Issachar this morning. Father God, I thank you that we understand times and season. And we know what to do in every given situation. I speak the Issachar anointing over all of us to understand the seasons that are changing. The times and the seasons that are changing. Some of us, we are we almost reach the altar all of a sudden the lady say you know what we're not going to bother work or the man say you know what me not go bother work with you and we don't understand that they could not have gone into a covenant that is lasting with you because their season had up their season was up their season is up what would so, was supposed to be just a friendship you want to turn it into a covenant a, a permanent covenant and God say no no girl no no and a marriage thing this this was just supposed to be somebody to come into your life as a friend and you're taking him down the altar this was just supposed to be somebody that was supposed to come into your life as a friend and you're taking her down the altar so because of that it never work out and so you're crying the tears yes but God say in order for you to go forward you got to go they got to go they got to go not because they are wicked but because they are not for you they are for somebody else not for you they, they are somebody else husband somebody else wife and you taking a friend down the altar and God is saying, let us understand the times and the season this morning and know the course of actions to take. La -da 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 -da. Hey, Jesus, we praise your name. So we thank you, mighty God, this morning. You are a great interceptor. God intercepted us before we made a permanent move. Abraham, Abraham, God said, leave every father, mother, uncle, auntie, niece, and nephew. Everybody you must leave. 
and go to a land where I will show you. Abraham said, boy, you know, I'm going to carry lot with me. And from him, carry lot with him. Pure cuscus. Pure problem with lot. Pure cuscus and big liar story, as what Miss Lou would say. Pure cuscus with, 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 with lot. Because lot shouldn't have come. And it was when Abraham released Lot. Say, you know what, Lot? I'm giving you the opportunity to choose where you want to lodge. You know, Lot got rich and everything. So Lot benefited from Abraham's success. You have some persons that we have in our lives that are no longer valuable in terms of what they are to, what they were to be for that season what god sent them but they now become like a um god i don't want to use that word but this is the word that come to me it's like they now become like a they start to suction from you so it's like you get more depressed around them now it's like they are sucking the, your life like the, 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 your power they're sucking your anointing they're sucking everything because what they are now becoming fat they are becoming now fat i didn't want to use that word angela i'm glad is you use it because <laughs> i'm an alive i didn't want to use it they are now becoming fat from over time yes winsome you know the word denny's no 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 in my mind they have now become fat because of over time and because they have become fat now pure problems start happening because their season was over and we are taking them into the transition period and god said to abraham abraham listen to me now don't carry not, don't get your wife if you carry and your things them and he carried lot abraham had to rescue lot Abraham had to rescue Lot from Sodom and Gomorrah. Abraham and, uh, and his, his, his servants and Lot servant, one piece of argument broke out because Abraham never transitioned with who God said they must transition with. And it was when Abraham left Lot that Abraham saw God said, as far as your eye can see, as far as your eye, because now you don't have nobody in an argument. You're free now to hear my voice clearly. The scale now take off and you hide them. You can't hear me, you can't see me, you can't sense me. God said, everywhere I feel, as far as your eyes can see is your one. Just take it. See Abraham and take it. Every Listen. That was the time when he let go of the baggage. I am not saying that people are baggages. But what the feeling that you get because you are carrying them is like a load on you. And so they are like, not are. And so because of that, when you are transitioning, God will cause some persons to be left behind. Not left behind as if not, nothing, not, nothing is going to go on for them. No, they are on a different journey. And that's what I want us to understand. I want us to pray. When people, for example, you're, 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 you're in a relationship or you're divorced and whatever... We don't wish bad for the person who we divorce and say, what your God are going to do him and what you're going to happen to him or what you're going to happen to her. Look, our life I'm going to mash up now that I am not in it. No, no. God, them gone, prosper them over where they are. I am going over here, prosper me where I am. I understand, I understand that satisfaction that we can get from saying, God, mash them up. I understand it i was once there but because that's not how god wants us to pray that's how, that's not what god wants us to pray so we have to pray god they're departed bless them 
sometimes it comes on to a mutual, you know, you come together and say, you know, I realize that we're not going to work out and we part ways. Bless them. And Lord, I'm coming with you over here. Bless me. And you move on. So Father God, we pray for the heart this morning for our forgiveness that will bless those who hurt us. Yeah, man, some of them break up, they them really at enough it true, man. They cause a lot of tears and pain. Really and truly. But God, we thank you for the blessing upon their lives. And then when we even see say nothing not really going over there, say no. We mustn't do I told you so. The I told you so moments must never come from out of our mouth. There is a scripture that says, Be careful what you wish for your enemies, because it may end up happening to you. It's in the book of Proverbs. Something along that line. And so we bless those who have left our lives. And they are still living. They are still alive. We bless them, Lord. We wish them all the best. We wish Jeremiah 29 verse 11. We wish a salvation upon them. We wish, wish uh, mighty God a repentance upon those who need to repent. We, we wish upon their lives a turning. Uh, mighty God for those who need to, to be recommitted to you. We, we wish, Father, we de not wish. We declare. We don't wish around here. We declare. We declare, Father God, upon their lives that they will see you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you. Thank you. And if it is that right now, one of them is at by your tongue, call the person name in the atmosphere and release him in this Kairos moment. Release him. I say him. I don't know why he, but anyway, release him or her in this Kairos moment. This is a Kairos moment. This is a moment set in heaven by God for you to feel that release from this, this um, pain. Bless, forgive, and bless. Release and move forward. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give you praise, oh God. We glorify and we magnify your holy name. Transition requires a leaving of someone. Sometimes what God will do, God will allow the person to migrate just for your purpose. Just for your sake, you know? Just for your sake. Sometimes the Lord will allow the person to get a job in a different state, a different country, a different parish. Sometimes you move, you end up moving from the community. And you ask God, why is it that I have to leave my friends? God, they, they are my friends. Why? You used to part together and all of that. Why, God? Because he's saying it's transition. The season of transition. You're moving to a different dimension. You're moving to a different level. If God had said to us... That if you obey me and transition, you will, you will, you will, um, you will be rich for the rest of your life. You know, say so it would be very easy. Some away, if you just walk away. Hmm. This is what I am. I am sensing. I am sensing that currently, somebody. On this live currently this is touching you to the core because you have asked the Lord to send an answer concerning what I am saying now you are currently in a relationship you are currently in you are a believer you are currently in a relationship and you know that 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 this is not what God desires of you it's like being in the relationship cause you forget you, 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 you are not at peace thank you holy spirit this relationship is not giving you peace but you are saying to yourself but if i walk away from this what is going to happen next because this is a prospect for marriage it look prospective for marriage but you feel it in your heart and it's like you are going to different different people and asking them for confirmation
because you know that you know that you know that you know that you know and so you have asked god for another confirmation and here it is this morning here it is this morning i will only repeat this one more time don't turn a friend into don't turn somebody who is supposed to only remain your friend into a husband you notice i never say wife into a husband don't turn I, 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 i'm going back on my word and repeating myself don't turn somebody who is supposed to remain your friend into a husband hallelujah so we thank you lord this morning we thank you lord for hearing the cry of your daughter we thank you lord that you are so mindful of your daughter that you came with this word tailored tailor made fitted just for her we thank you lord for our obedience this morning and we thank you lord for the greater good that shall come as a result of our obedience in jesus mighty and matchless name i pray amen hallelujah bless the name of jesus hallelujah yes no this is another confirmation for somebody there is somebody on this live you are trying to do the reverse you already have a husband and you are asking god whether or not you must take your transition like move away or whatever 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 this message is not a confirmation for you this message is not a confirmation for you to walk out of your marriage i am sensing that the lord is saying to you this morning it is by your conduct that you win him over it is by your conduct that you win him over i need to find that word because i love i love the word it is by your conduct can somebody find it for me it is by your conduct that you win him over and so what i'm sensing that the lord is saying to you this morning that you win over your husband i don't remember where it come from that's i i'm, I'm not i'm <laughs> hey hallelujah hey hallelujah charlene you think god easy listen guys we have to remember this i understand i've never experienced um that kind of pain because god gave me a a a a, a believer he also gave me a a man who wants to obey him a man after his own heart so even when me and ron have really like wranglings we know that he god is who put us together and so as a result of knowing that he god is the one that put us together ruan keep him king quiet and i keep Femi king quiet that's different when you first peter 3 verse 1 thank you ivan when please read part first peter 3 verse 1 for me the person on this life and not calling a name because i see somebody put something on the life that's confirming that god is who is speaking today so what i am saying with this scripture here about transition requiring a 
a leaving of someone is not for you because you're not leaving nobody what you are, your transition is you have to be transitioned into the person the wife that will win over your husband so it is going to require a walking with god like no other it's going to require an obedience to god like no other it's going to require a hearing a god's voice and the voice where god say the things that god say like no other because god is molding you and shaping you and turning you into a Jesus then he is you take it from me a Proverbs 31 oh man so you're not using this word today to make your exit please and thank you first Peter 3 verse 1 must be your guide you saw God love we 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 God, I praise you this morning. First Peter 3 verse 1. I thank you for your word. I thank you for your word. That is the ultimate authority. And we thank you Lord that as you have stepped into this marriage this morning. The unfolding and the testimony shall come as a result of your daughter's obedience. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You shall experience a lot of day. That shall be so much greater than your farmer. And as my husband say, always say. What is the better testimony? The better testimony is to walk away. Or the better testimony is to see your spouse transform into a mighty man of valor. Or a mighty woman of of Fala. What is the better testimony? The better testimony is to see your husband, mighty man of Fala, walking, moving, breathing, having his being in the will and purpose of God. Let your light so shine before your spouse that he may see your good work, that she may see your good work and say, my wife God is God, my husband God is God. That is the better testimony in Jesus' name. And we thank God this morning. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your word. We seal it with your word. We thank you, God. We give you praise, honor, and glory. That it is so and it is done. We thank you, Lord, that you left so many for us. He paid a debt. He did not owe. I owed a debt. I could not pay. I needed someone. To wash my sins away. But now I sing a brand new song. Amazing grace. Christ Jesus paid the debt that I and we and you could never pay. He transitioned. He moved away from people. As a matter of fact, he moved away from his father in order to fulfill this mandate. He transitioned from heaven, came as a child, grew up as a man, died on the cross so that we can have life more abundantly. And so we thank you, Lord, for these emblems. We thank you for paying the debt that we could not pay. And so God, we eat in remembrance and in thanksgiving and in gratitude for your undiluted love for us. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Thank you, Lord. Hmm. Hmm. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise, honor, and glory for your word this morning. Lord, help me to coin this. As I talk about transition, help me to coin this properly. Help me to coin this properly. All right, so this, this is what I just saw. Um, the prophetic is for exhortation, comfort, and edification. So I am saying to somebody this morning, it sometimes comes with a warning. And I have to say, because I can't afford for when I come off of the live. I can't, I don't no, no want that feeling when I come off the live because I disobeyed. So listen, one female, this is a, 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 this is a female now. So this word is for you in terms of you are currently in a relationship. You are currently a believer. You are currently in a relationship. You are currently in a deep relationship that includes that includes that includes intimacy beyond beyond everybody know what that means intimacy beyond just friendship this is the word of the lord to you today you if you do not turn you will end up with a permanent problem a perma you will end up in a permanent situation with a temporary with a human being that was supposed to be temporary this permanent situation can carry you up to 18 years can carry you up to 18 years i hope you are reading between the lines what that means i am talking just as home get it it will take you up to 18 years or even beyond when when the end result of this continuous action that god is saying for you to stop continues you will end up with a permanent situation with a temporary human being and let me tell you what is going to happen you see when there becomes a ripening of the fruit in the womb this person is going to just lift off the mask hey hallelujah this person is going to lift the mask you were warned jesus we thank hey we thank you this morning for your word we thank you for your unconditional love for this person and we thank you that because of your unconditional love you are intercepting and you are saying to this person stop before it's too late amen thank you so much for joining us this morning hallelujah Thank you so much for joining us this morning. This is a great day. This is an awesome day. This is a magnificent day. To God be the glory. Great things he has done. We thank God for what he is doing in our life. We thank God that he so love us. I love this word. Mindful of us. I love how you take my way. God, I love how you take my way. I love how you love me, Jesus. Love how you love me, steadfast. You are a steadfast lover, steadfast lover. Yes, God loves us so much. On behalf of Pastor Rowan Wade, I am Marsha Wade saying, enough love, enough love to you, and enough love. Go forth and have a super califagilistic, espialidocious day, God's way, for our God has already shaken everything that is evil out of your day, his way. Remember, Jesus love you. I will love you. Jesus love you. I will love you. Jesus love you. I will love you too, too, too. Bye. Bless you.